Hey Chris here. It's the 24th of May, uh, 2016. I'm here in our apartment or unit in Sydney, Australia. I'm going to talk today about more theological Bible college students. Um, um, well, today I'm going to talk about a camera that they had finally made visible. So when I say finally made visible because there's evidence that suggests that the camera had been up since August of 2015, around the 20th or before that, they had put it up in, the, in one window in the building in, in that um, donor, I call it the donor house because it was given to them. Uh, that's in another video. They put it up in, in a window in that donor house and then they moved it to another window, but it's been up there since August. Um, pardon me. And the reason um, they put it in the window is because they wanted to hide it. Uh, they wanted to hide it to get evidence. Uh, it was pointed at our unit, like directly. Of course, it's a point and zoom, so it can move in other play, uh, in other directions. But it was basically pointed in our unit, in my, uh, I think, and uh, uh, given the evidence um, and their behavior, they were in, they were trying to instigate us to act in a certain way, and then they would catch it on on camera and um, be able to use that against us uh, to evict us or to get us kicked out for our behavior. Um, and the reason they want to do that is because one, uh, we caught them in crimes against us, the authentication attacks, evil twin attacks on our wireless uh, computer attacks. Um, they broke into our our unit um, uh, several times. There's evidence to suggest that they broke into our unit, um, uh, possibly even while, while we we're in the unit asleep. Uh, and there's also um, evidence to suggest that uh, they um, destroyed data on our computers, that they accessed our computers, that they accessed our networks. Uh, a whole slew, a whole crop load of stuff that they did. Anyways, um, and also when we first moved in, I made it very clear that in, I thought, and there is evidence that uh, the Anglicans were acting in a way to harass and bully uh, certain units to um, pr um, motivate the people to leave so that they could gain access to the units and so that they could offer purchase prices to the owners. That's what I think, and there's lots of evidence to suggest that. Um, so today I'm going to talk about the cameras. Uh, like I said, it was in a window as long, far back as um, the eighth of the eighth month, August of 2015. So I'm just going to show you a few pictures, and uh, then we'll talk about it after. Okay, so uh, this is the building. Uh, there's a ladder. They're installing it. Um, they got the. Uh, uh, there's the this stand they're installing. This is a piece of paper covering a window. That's a bell. <laughs> this building is about 200 yards away. It's the donor house building on George's River Road. Uh, this is the back side of the building that faces us. Um, see, you can see that they put a conduit up there and they got a cat cable and uh, a power cable coming down. They got two cables, an orange power cable and a cat cable. There's the cables right there. You can't see very well, but... Uh, uh, they got a white cable and an orange cable coming down. There's uh, the electrician guy um, up there on the ladder. Sorry about the bad quality. But this guy here is the, um, he's like a uh, full time employee by the Anglicans, and they have lots of employees. And uh, this guy is a full time employee by the Anglicans. Uh, he's the same guy that in this building installed the cat cable in the ceiling. He's the one that was tapping on the roof above our bedroom. Uh, we woke us up that one day. I wrote a video about that. Uh, and in the video, he goes and says that, oh, I didn't know anything about it, but obviously here, and by the way he looked at me when he left, I was looking out the window, by the way he looked at me up standing in the window, he knows, uh, I think, very well about what's going on, a little bit more than he um, lets on, or maybe not, but I mean, he's putting up a camera, <laughs> he knows my story. I mean, I told him that where our unit was broken into, I told when I was talking to him about the cat cable on the roof. I asked him, I said, or I said to him, I said, you know, our unit's been broken into, right? So uh, you can understand we're not going to be too happy about someone tapping in the ceiling. Oh, I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that, he says. I'm just doing what I'm told. I'm just installing. So there's the mount. Uh, here's a closer up view of the mount. Uh, uh, here's, here's what I think is the camera. Uh, here you can definitely see. Uh, like a pivot point and you can see uh, it's hard, but I, I that's the um, I think that's the uh, The pivot point. I mean it rotates, right? It's a point and zoom so 
um, uh, here's the uh, looks like to me it looks like uh, uh, the point where the lens is and uh, that's where the, the, the flare comes at nighttime like, I could be wrong this could just be a light bulb but uh, the light bulb hasn't been on since and also uh, in this next picture this is where it used to be and uh, at nighttime you I, I would see a uh, flare I would see like a lens flare so either they're trying to make it look like going through a lot of trouble trying to make it look like there's a camera and that this is lens flare it this is a real bad photo I was trying to shoot it quickly in low light very low light conditions with a long lens and uh, so you can't see it much but when you're looking at it um, and you move around you can see like it looks like you're looking at it it's almost like red eye and uh, it used to be in this it used to be um, uh, in, a, in this window uh, and then they moved it um, over to this window and this window is right to the left to the east of the other window so um, this is in August uh, of uh, 2015 this this was taken on the 20th of August 2015 so it was up for a long period of time and um, uh, I think it's very clear that uh, it seems very clear to me that that that's a camera uh, I don't know what kind of camera it is maybe a Sony I'm not sure I've never seen the model before and it, it, it seems to be not of um, no, it doesn't seem like there's many around. It's not like a Dawa or like a anything like that. So anyways, uh, there you go.